October 18, 2021. It's every Monday with the World Weekly Astrology looking a week ahead into the sky to reflect the collective consciousness and market-wise. World Weekly Astrology doing some change and I'm in front of the camera instead of showing you the charts. Going to discuss it when I'm looking on the charts and just reflecting the message of this week. And this is part of the changes that we all need to do in our life. Each one where, need, where is going to show up with any project, with any new direction. But I fe felt and, and think that is going to be uh, one of those improved changes. Mercury and Jupiter stationing today. And we are all can feel the or hear the sounds of brrrr, of the motor starting to move still the fly the, the airplane is still standing but the motors are starting because we are going to make a huge movement also in the story of what is coming in the world i'm pretty much i was sitting all weekend on charts of different countries and seeing this is the energy that's what I, we waited that the outer planets will stop the retrograde that we will start to see forward so we needed to mix a lot of uh, past stories and I see forward and I'm not very happy with what I'm seeing to be honest and I'm saying this and my nose is itching and maybe this is a sign. I'm not happy with what I'm seeing in 2022, but this is some hope here that could be like a divine help. But to the chart that I was looking, the new story that is starting is going to be very challenging. And in a geopolitical events or aspects, uh, it's something that is related to sort of a war or a war. 2022 is the real deal. 2021 was just shattering our reality. Showing us the edge of our capacities of our frustration, showing us more dark that people will be able to wake up and to start seeing that is no make sense, that even vaccinated suddenly see that all the discussion between the unvax and the vax just was the excuse for government to sign new rules that they can go to your door to vaccinate you but now it's to vaccinate you later is to do other thing to take children who knows and then taking properties all those chaos is in the side when when the media are just focusing on showing us one reality allegedly to protect us they were preparing here to control in a major greater way when the real war is when the real war is between the two empires china against the united states i said before 2020 started already in 2018 that the next crisis will come from china after the last crisis that we saw of the real estate in 2007 the next crisis will come from China and China will sort of conquer the world. We create such a damage that finally could purchase the world with their own currency or rules. But it won't cost. Mm. It won't go all the way as it like, sounds like this is a sold story. No. This will be the trial. This will be the direction to what I'm seeing 
interpreting interpreting the the charts of the next years and seeing charts of other countries I would dedicate another video to speak about what is happening in the geopolitics because it's big and this video is dedicated for speaking for just a very short span of a week what is the energies in the week but we need to mention something about the big because Mercury and Jupiter the biggest planet moving direct today and it's not moving for the entire month it will be stationed in the 22 degrees degree of a restructuring of something very huge and it's about restructuring laws about now it's in Aquarius but in Sidereal is in Capricorn so it's still speaking about rules structures more of the degree of the 20, 22 degrees and it's in Aquarius the house of people so it's rules on people so governments are pretty much going to use all this fraction all this crazy energies of October November we're just entering this week also <laughs> after the full moon in Aries to the Scorpio season so this is a lot of dark energy that enters this is a lot of elite call what we say they without even knowing who are their they including those extraterrestrials that are managing the decision making of some governments and powers um, to bring new rules on people and this is no um, no surprise that people are speaking about the EFT the future contracts of Bitcoin because Jupiter in Aquarius right stationing direct it's a very important time of restructuring 22 degrees ruling the innovation and what is all about they want to destroy crypto they want to destroy bitcoin in order to like they did with gold how gold is right now below the 2000 because there are some contracts and derivatives that they can manipulate bigly the price in order to sustain the economy the way they want. So this is part of their agenda probably also to control the price of what can create a freedom for people. But the divine justice is stronger because Jupiter is giving a lot of power to people now because jupiter is sta is stationing direct in the sign of people ruled by uranus and uranus right now is retrograde in taurus and taurus is ruled by venus that right now in sagittarius this is a lot to speak about how we are liberating yourself first of all from abusing relationship by any kind whether personal whether you know in the work field and also with uh, with governments let's call it generally so they will try to use this ne the negative sides of those planets uh, reducing freedom or conditioning freedom in a way that will give them more control you know so we need to be very innovative and to liberate our spirit by absorbing more or asking for knowledge this venus in sagittarius they just passed on the south node first of all invited us to get rid for bad contracts also to get rid from shit coins all those coins that you read uh, that are going to do a lot of percentage is to get rid from whatever is garbage in your life is a release so if you want to get liberated you need to release and to go with your higher self Uranus in Taurus so it's a retrograde now and it's the ruler of, Sagitt of uh, Jupiter that right now 
it's the ruler of the sign of where Jupiter right now stationing. And we are in a week of a full moon of Aries, anger, a need for independency, a need for fighting for your rights. And this is going, Jupiter is going to station in this 22 degrees for three weeks at least. So we are still not going nowhere, but this is application of different structure and rules. And we all need to start a new platform to start interacting with our crowds differently. I'm thinking about opening um, a new server that will be a private server that won't be um, part, you know, it's the easiest way to publish your, your things in Facebook and in Instagram. No, it should be something different or at least decentralized blockchain based uh, platform where to interact with your public and to start shuttering our structure to a, to, to a very good pieces that we could create our own vessel. Because if we are going to stay on the current vessel, it will shatter even more and will be destroyed. You will, you will remain with nothing. We need to find the quality right now, not the quantity. This is the Venus things as well. What is the highest quality? And for quality, you don't need much. You need few. And if you need also to be able to give a good quality, even to increase a price of something and to have just few, that will give you like the amount of many. We are not speaking now about the masses, all the masses following the same um, Hollywood star. We're speaking about like-minded, small groups, connections. So, this is about this. What will come after the full moon of Aries that is ruled by Mars? The new moon in Scorpio that in Vedic also considered to be ruled by Mars. So this is a very martial activation to use the sword of our, of our soul in order to cut contracts and to create new things because the outer planet is moving direct and we are starting to get a support wind, back wind to move forward, to manifest or to create what will enable us uh, more freedom. The full moon um, in Aries will happen near to the asteroid Aries that is considered to be the sister of Mars and the Sun will be near to Mars. We are experiencing Mars hidden invisible in sky for good months now and he just closed the cycle um, in the near the Sun in Libra and will be visible again in Scorpio uh, very soon in few weeks so this full moon that is happening on October 20th is happening with Mercury near to Mars, but Mercury finally stationed in 10 degrees. For the last days, we saw Mercury opposing Chiron, speaking about the clearing of relationship. It also was introduced, interestingly enough, with a high spike in the Bitcoin price. And meantime, altcoins, dropped compared to Bitcoin and I always say it look how many BTC you have more than how much value in USD it's its value because the BTC is going to be the treasure at least for now because there's limited supply not like USD that is unlimited supply and it's good maybe what you could be what you able to buy right now with a value with the USD value of the portfolio will be the same even when your portfolio will be value 300% more 
the power of purchase will be the same because of inflation. Sort of. You understand what I mean? So this is also the purge of the trade. Mercury opposing Chiron and it was retrograde. It was about a cleansing and it was seems like it was a laundering uh, process with all the exchanges what Binance has and uh, how to move back to the Bitcoin more than just the rumors about for the ETF um, seems to to me like very uh, classic Mercury stationing in front of Chiron when Venus just passed on the south node. So altcoins down, Bitcoin up and something very interesting about oil that already in um, <laughs> around the 85 and in the beginning of the year, a spark that is going toward the 100, but won't already touch the 100 because the 100 is a very triggering place for that could trigger a lot of other markets to go in different directions. So this full moon on the 20th is very much an invitation for setting or completing your stage for a war where you will be able to be alone a lonely wolf sometimes in order to fight to protect yourself it's about protection and because it's a full moon it's also telling a story of what closed since last april um, in the new moon of aries as we just started the equinox of the spring so in last april we had a lot of momentum when all planets arrived to the peak of the retro of the of the going forward and now we could take sort of the harvest of what we progress and how we become stronger or or independent the way we introducing ourselves and ready to go to the next round of this fight what we had between last october october 2020 to april um, 2021 and now we are setting for another october to april so this full moon is like a combination of what you, we have achieved and how we set the tools for the next rally and this is exactly was the rally of the of the crypto right from october to april yeah but this fight is going to be a cleansing and also could participate with the manipulation that just exactly they are about to to approve the the etf of crypto and it's about to try stopping this freedom of people but crypto will win because when people wake up for the darkness and seeing what actually is happening and what's starting to understand the technology of course also my models are showing even that it's not going to be a straight line move it's going to be some strong correction on the middle in the middle but all this also to set up what has real value uh, for now we are speaking the bitcoin uh, better than other altcoins projects but not all altcoins will fail of course not also altcoins will continue but it will it actually invites you not to participate now and of course the price of bitcoin will go higher because people will start to participate in the game through the future contracts but it's important that you will have the tools and the technology this is how mercury is stopping and telling you use the technology and have a real thing in a private wallet somewhere and you could figure it out and those are some projects that also will grow a lot 
but this Venus that just passed on the south node and ready to go in this week near to Juno in Sagittarius is helping us to find new treasures as well that we haven't noticed that have treasure. And it's maybe something that is not specifically crypto. Something that is allowing us to create new contracts. New collaborations. This is why it's all happening inside of the Libra season. I believe, and this is Mars. Mars is the individual, is the competent, you know, the capitalist. Yeah, I have more than you. I have more than you. I can do it alone. I don't need you. So now with all those rearrangements, it's an invite, as we are still in the Libra season, to, to think about a cooperative project. So you have some crypto, you have some other thing, combine and create something with other people that have the same idea or the same concept or abilities. It's not just the money here, it's also the spirit that comes with it. This is the Venus Juno coming. It's like good connection and it's also very recommended for business. It's not just for romantic. Even that some romantic energies can come here. For government is speaking about new alliances here. But, um, yeah, and this Mars is also setting, the, setting up the war. Uh, that, so, and, and we understood that wars cannot, shouldn't be just uh, tanks and uh, airplanes, bombs, uh, as we saw in the history. It could be viruses, it could be attack, cyber attacks. This is the real war today, in a digital world. And we are not going backward with a digital world we just will need to transform it to the people favor using a high technology of intelligence that we have more freedom with it but not to enable not to help those tyrants to have all information in one hand we will need to be responsible to spread everything in different baskets this is also the north node in gemini that we are having for the last year and a half. That's what we needed to learn, to look in the other direction, to start spreading our wealth, our information, and, and to be free. But if you killed here, you still can emerge from there. If you killed there, you can emerge from there. It was to diversify yourself and create sort of a network like a spider Touching here, touching there, tss, creating network. It doesn't matter what size of network, but network, even of five people, to, to manage your freedom, your own way and path. That communication could not be censored, that data cannot be taken. And we also will speak about connection of different networks. Now, the fight in the world of the networks is the USD network that actually by this they are controlling the world to the Chinese network right now that is pretty much controlling the resources whether for metals or food and all the supply chain. So the USD just implemented the value but that not has real value. The real value is the products, the services that China put the hand on and still able to manipulate the price of the USD. This is the real fight. And with money, you could conquer today a lot. So this week is to start putting the energy in work, uh, feeling uh, setting the idea, starting seeing clarity, where I'm going, with who I'm connecting, to what I'm going to commit, what I'm going to start running for the next um, five, six months into the spring. 
this is going to to require a lot of bravery to pass in places that people are afraid specifically next month November as we are just entering you know this week we are just entering to Scorpio season and for the last week we had Sun squaring Pluto so we all need to discover what was what is hidden what we are afraid of and to face our fears by connection by finding new opportunities by just trying trying to to play with the concept of death with the concept of of lose by taking risk but not being greedy this is a big theme coming it's not just scorpio season in the beginning of 2022 the south node will move to scorpio will create a lot of and what Scorpio Scorpio also ruled by Mars and this is a full moon of Mars this week you will need to start using your your juice your essence your real true power not being a follower being a leader influencer trying things and in order to discover new exit it's like we are needing to start digging digging to find the exit It's never an exit when we are reincarnated in this body but it's like to go to another hall that respecting us that is more honored than being stuck in another cube i don't know if it's just the ideal metaphor so saturn just last week started the move direct and we are starting to see that this is okay synchronicity starting to move the chains of the wheel will start to, to move but now it's going to activate the purpose the big picture and the alignment of how we do things in a more diplomatic way to liberate ourselves to bring more justice in our life to purify the relationship that draining us that abusing us saturn is stationing and moving direct now exactly on the south node of the united states and um, this is I don't know even how to describe it like it's like exactly the the situation of what we are seeing right now how the US is looks like stuck in uh, in in exterior control that actually is the teeth of China because China is pretty much controlled by Uranus or ruling or you identified i'm seeing them like uran like aquarius and saturn being in aquarius in on the south node of the united states is like being con in controlled uh, on the heavy side that couldn't be adjusted quickly the US structure and many structure of government are very slow and and demonic and 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 primitive in a way so this is why we all need and with a square that is coming next saturn square in uranus to be innovative to be innovative and um, and to move out from old structures 
to think about new way of how to create wealth, how to create connection, relationships. This week into Sunday, that actually we are starting the Scorpio season on the 23rd of, uh, of October. is like standing standing in this is a, a minor a minor correction that can come uh, if we are going to see on the overall picture it's a minor correction that i expect to see around the end of this uh, week um but um this is mostly speaking to our personal, uh, our personal adjustment, how to to make decisions for a new project going forward, a new chapter going forward, and. Very interesting on Sunday, Mercury is going to do a Queen Kong with Uranus. So Mercury moving direct, Uranus moving retrograde, they are in 13 degrees. And this is the degree that Uranus structures Saturn. So into the 24th, 25th, this could be an important news about the crypto thing. Maybe it will be a little bit of a sell the rumors sell the news but it's going to be a big news mercury is the news and uranus innovation in the crypto but all what is happening right now is about to structure ourselves to a world that is going to be very crazy months by the changes that are coming but it also could be a beautiful dream dream come true because in next april uh, jupiter and neptune will meet in um, Pisces. <sighs> I think that is enough for this first video of Greek Astrology in front of the camera. We'll see how it's going on further on. If you are seeing it in YouTube, consider to join Patreon. And uh, there are many other benefits that I'm giving more of the weekly forecast like uh, bonus predictions that I'm showing three months ahead, um, different polls for researchers for different topics. And it may be interesting you, and you will check the link below. And for all of you in the community, I'll see you on tomorrow for the commodities forecast and for Thursday for the crypto one. Bye for now.